صلى على محمد وآل محمد. Can I, you can play this or another one if you want. Okay. There are different. I mean, I want to start with the recitation of the whole Quran. Yes, you can start with this. No problem. Go for the slide. That's okay. Another one, there are some more. The Ma'ida, for example, or so any surah. Yes, 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 yes. You just listen to the different melodies. But of course, the melodies are there. Uh, do not worry about the prices. I, I, I think some of you may be worried about the prices. But على محمد وآل محمد. محمد وآل محمد. Guess about the melody, about voice. Today, of course, we we don't have enough time, but we start with voice and then we go with melody. What is exactly voice? You know, uh, we have for everything beauty, and the beauty of Quran is good voice. You might, because whenever I go and have a chat with some of your, I mean, uh, people from your community, maybe Lebanese or from Pakistani community, Iranian community, they say, I don't have good voice. My voice is not good. It's a wrong uh, comment. In, in, in the knowledge of voice, we see every type of voice is beautiful. It's like muscle. It's like me, if I don't go to gyms, of course, I will be like this. My muscles will be out of order. But if someone like uh, Brother Mustafa, he is really fit. And so his body is good, not like me. Because he goes running, he goes to gym. So voice, it's exactly related to two vocal chords. We see, we see chords. So you train it. Of course, we have to believe that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates any person, he gives for him or for her one specific skill. Anyone here, you have one skill. That is, we call it khudadadi, that is gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One is, one of, one of you has very good handwriting, like our brother Nuruddin. Of course, he had practice. One of you has very good eye. I mean, you see everything. One of you, you have good memory. One of you, you have... I mean, good sound. Any of you, you have an ability, an, a skill on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it doesn't mean that you can't get to the other skills. We say in, in, in voice or in any knowledge, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned on one light of your skills. But the others, it doesn't mean it's not working. No, it is just on hold. You know this, the Terminology of bil quwa and bil fi'l. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you one bil fi'l skill. And bil quwa, it is just ready for you. You have to go and find it. You have to try your best. Good? So, voice, any type of voice in the nature of, uh, I mean, the lesson of voice is beautiful. 
It doesn't care if it is, for example, bass, baritone, tenor, or any type of voice it could be. So first of all, we divide the voice. So we have one side male voice and one side female voice. The male voice, we have three different categories. From the, he the heavy one to the light one. We have bass, baritone, and tenor. What is bass? Very heavy. Uh, like this, very heavy voice. And tenor, it is in the medium. For example, for bass, bass uh, voice, we have like uh, Ustad Basyuni, Khalil Al Husari. And for medium, we have Shahad Muhammad Anwar. For tenor, we have Abdul Basit. Why? Kids and children, they used to start with Abdul Basit. Why? Because this, the voice of Abdul Basit is tenor. It's too much light. And in the ladies as well, we have three different stages. We have alto, mezzo-soprano, and soprano. These are terminologies we have from, I mean, uh, Greek, uh, I mean, source. So what is alto? Alto is, you have heard some ladies, they have really heavy voice, you see. Uh, can I speak to, for example, Miss Fulani? Assalamu alaikum. The voice is strong. So you, you, you think that you are speaking to a man. So that's called alto. So the heavy voice of a woman is called alto. And then we have mezzo-soprano and then soprano. So these are the three levels of the uh, voice. So I, I'm gonna go through the slides. So, وَرَدْتِ لِلْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Okay. وَرَدْتِ لِلْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that you have to recite Qur'an with tartil. What does it mean, tartil? Tartil means you have to recite Qur'an as the tartil was exactly the meaning of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam mentioned about uh, tajweed. So, we have to apply all the rules of the recitation. Good. And tartil means you have to recite Quran beautifully. With an intention. Good. We go for, forward. Uh, in the same surah, Surah Al-Muzzamil, we have the last ayah, this, this uh, part. فَقْرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرَ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ As much as you can recite Quran. It is فَقْرَأُوا. It is imperative verb. So anything we have imperative in Quran, it has direct benefit to yourself. So, فَقْرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرَ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ In the same ayah, Allah emphasizes again, فَقْرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرَ مِنْ Again, Allah emphasizes this. We go forward. So, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ Okay. Good. So each voice, before we go to the slides, for voice, for the lesson of voice, always we start before the melodies with voice. And we teach our students that you have to know that each voice has qualities. You have to learn the qualities of voice. And before that, I want to ask you, what mechanism takes voice to be produced? So how many types of voices we have? Can you imagine? That is one type of voice, yes? Good. If I have a piece of paper, I can give you another type of voice. So one type of voice is just connecting two things together. Good. And another type maybe two things just departing from each other. Another thing like this. This other type of voice we have, three type of voice, good. So how the voice forms. And then the qualities of voice. In the lesson of voice, you should know what is the quality of, for example, shidda to sot. That is the strength of your voice. How strong is your voice? How amount of energy used to produce a voice? The volume. Nowadays, we use volume. If the mic is not good, so I can't increase and use my voice for many long dis distance, it's impossible. This helps my voice, but it doesn't increase the pitch. For voice, you have to learn as well the alphabet. What is the alphabet of voice or melody? You know, it might be 
for you surprising for even Quran and melodies you have to know the alphabet do re mi fa so la si do we have any person here from India or from Pakistan they use another type sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so these are the alphabet of melodies or music but we use this in Quran it's in the nature like when in your language how you want to write for example a word transliteration you say like that for example the word alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin you write it in english it's like that that we use in melodies and in the lesson of voice so we have we call this octave we call it in arabic diwan okay we go through the slides qara rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam khayrukum man ta'allama alquran wa allama so amongst you, the best amongst you is the one who learns the Holy Quran and teaches to the others. So now we are the best. We are right now the best in this community. Because of what? خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَ قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أفضل العبادة قراءة القرآن أفضل العبادة قراءة القرآن. The greatest religious ritual is recitation of the Holy Quran. The greatest ritual, uh, religious ritual is recitation of the Holy Quran. Unfortunately, when it comes to Quran, we are like this. When it comes to, I don't say we, we shouldn't uh, respect Muharram or Arba'in or any, or any other occasions. When it comes to Quran, unfortunately, our Shia communities is like this. But it, when it comes to Muharram, oh, 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 marasim, marthiya, latum, many things. But be careful. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, he said, Inni tarikum fikum thaqalain. What? Kitab Allah wa itrati. Kitab Allah is the hardware, and itrat is the software. They are together. If you have mobile iPhone, you have iPhone 10 X right now. The majority of you have that mobile, good. But if you just have the, the body, your kids or you yourself, you doesn't like it. Or if you have just the software, what, what do you do with software? If you don't have a screen, if you don't have the body. So you should have both, good. Please, it's not just for you, for all of us, for me, myself, we have to take care of this. How many Hufas, brother Mustafa, Maybe one year or maybe less than one year, let's say. We were looking for a hafiz. We don't have. Why? What's the reason? Because this, this is our weakness. We have to accept and we have to improve it. Good? So, afdal al ibadati qiraatul Quran. So that is the, I mean, the greatest religious rituals. Um, qara Rasulullah. Another thing which is very important, that is the, the answer of many questions the, some Salafis or other groups, they, they ask, shall we recite Quran with melody or no? Are we allowed to recite Quran with melodies or no? What is the hadith of our great prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny? Laysa minna man lam bil Quran. What does it mean? What does it mean? Laysa minna man lam yatagunna bil Quran. The one who does not recite the Holy Quran melodiously is not from us. Yes? What does melodiously mean? Very good. So with melody, you know, what, what is melody? I come to you, I come to you. What is melody? Right now we are, we have conversation, yes? Melody is not created by any person. Melody was in the first stage of creation. Some of you might ask, who created the melody of Sabah? Who created the melody of Hijaz? Who created the melody of Fulan, Fulan, Fulan? No, the melodies exactly they are like the colors. How many colors we have? Basic colors, seven. How many days we have? Seven. How many skies we have? Seven, how many 40 days a baby should carry on in the 
a womb of mother to complete the, I mean, nine month, nine day, nine uh, minutes and nine seconds like this. Altogether, it's seven. Seven, the number seven is miraculous, but melody is just sensation. For example, Saba, a good clue for you. When a baby cries, it is Saba. When you do Latmiya, when you do Nai in, in Arabic, uh, I mean Majalis, they do Nai, it is Saba. When a baby cries, it is Saba. When a lady is asking money from her husband, please give me money, I want to go. It is all Saba. <laughs> it is in the nature. Is that melody different for a dollar bill than one dollar Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Where, when you do... If she does it like that, I'll give her all the money. Yes, no, 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 no. For, for, for one dollar, you might use the Qarar of Maqam, the first stage of Maqam. Yes, definitely. But for one hundred dollar, you might ask the Jawab Jawab. Oh, you go to the highest level of the Maqam melody. So, now conversation. You know, in Quran, when we have the Qasas of Anbiya, conversation, qala and qalat, many of these, we use Maqam Nahawand. Nahawan, inshallah, will speak about the region of all melodies. What is the region of each melodies? And which prophet usually recited this melody? For example, we have Prophet Adam alayhi salam. He recited with Maqam Sabah. He recited with Maqam Rast. You know, when he, he was mentioning the Asami, you know, the Asami, he was mentioning in Maqam Rast. And when a judge orders here, he is using maqam rast. So maqam is available in the nature. It's not created by anyone. But it's like color. You mix two colors together. Inshallah, we will speak about melodies, uh, about maqamat, maqamat asli, maqamat far'i, maqamat murakab. All of them, inshallah, we will speak. So, laysa minna man lam yataghanna bil Quran. So when you want to recite Quran, you have to recite with melody. What is the reason? I come to you right now, brother. What is the reason? You are reciting some verses of the Holy Quran. For example, So if I recite this with Maqam Sabah, it doesn't match. It doesn't match. For example, It is highly recommended to recite with Maqam Hijaz. Why? Because Hijaz, Usually it's called the Munada. Why we use Adhan with Hijaz? Because we call Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It is Hijaz. You call someone to come. And it is Law Anzalna. I mean, it wants you to be awake. Wake up, wake up. لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله. Dude, each part of verse, you have to know the hiss or the sensation of that verse. That's the reason non-Arabs, they have to know the meaning. It is wajib to know the meaning of the Holy Quran because you want to recite it. Brother, what was your question? And then we carry on. Do you need mic? Does the same rule apply when you are praying namaz? Good, very good. It is highly recommended. It is highly recommended to use anywhere. Even we have ulama, specifically in London, we have ulamas from uh, different marajis. They are reciting prayers. We have our colleague, he is reciting prayers with maqam hijaz and maqam sabah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم That is another weakness we have in our school. Our ulama, they are reciting, the recitation, I mean, in melodies, they don't have. They are just simple. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Like this. And even they have mistakes. They don't apply the mudud. 
the elongation, and their points of articulation like this. You know, that's a question, very huge question from other school they are showing. You see the mullah, the scholar of this school reciting like this. They shouldn't be allowed. Their, their qara'a should be perfect with melody because it is your obligation. When you recite some verses of the Holy Quran, you have to use the correct melody. What well, when we say, for example, uh, a dua, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al akhirati hasana wa qina adab nar. Maqam ajam. Usually dua, munajat, use maqam ajam. Each melody has a specific time. What is maqam bayati? Inshallah, I will mention all of them. So, laysa minna man lam yataghanna bil Qur'an. And Imam Ali alayhi salam, at-tartilu ada'u al-huruf ahifdhu al-wuquf. That is the answer of Imam Ali alayhi salam to the question was asked about tartil. Good. That is the review of last uh, session. So we have tahdir, tartil, and tahqiq, and tajweed. And then the Holy Quran. We have some important things about the, this book. So this book is revealed to our great prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny. One of the important things we have in this book, always I tell my students, some of them, they come to the stage of voice and tune and they don't apply Tajweed. Believe me, if you apply all the rules of Tajweed, the melody will come itself. We had a competition in London. We invited uh, Ustad Nuaina, Sheikh Nuaina from Egypt. And one of my students came to him and asked him, uh, please tell me what, what is this melody? And which melody you recited? He answered, I don't know what melody it was. I was reciting with my sensation. Even f they used to come to Mustafa Ismail, Ustad Mustafa Ismail, and ask him what you are reciting. And he didn't know. The people, they said, you're reciting maqam, for example, ajam. So it comes all from sensation. If you have sensation, the meaning, and also the correct pronunciation of the Holy Quran, everything will come automatically. Automatically. So, the verses of the Holy Quran, the order it has, all they are, they came from the divine source. And that is always, I say, that is our obligation. When we want to recite Quran, we have to recite correctly. Because we are like a messenger or a person who is conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the others. When we say, for example, Kulhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, what is this? Is Allah did like this? Or when we say, Ulhu Allahu Ahad, what is Ul? He live in his accent. It's Iranian. What is this? It is not Quran. It is not revealed like this. Okay? But it is our obligation. Of course, it might be very difficult. Of course, it is difficult. Tomorrow, we'll speak about the different ways of recitation. Ikhtilaf Qur'an. One of the reasons of different ways of recitation is because of us. Because of our human being. We couldn't recite Quran properly. And that was the reason. Some of the places in Arabia, in Hijaz, in Basra, in Sham, they couldn't recite properly. So even Allah re revealed the book, I mean, in seven, seven ahruf. Inshallah, we'll talk this tomorrow. Good? So, some qualities of Quranic melodies, change of word, Change the structure of sentences and words. What does it mean? Using signs, short and long vowels. For example, changing of word, what, what does it mean? Conveying the, the, the structure of sentence of word. For example, when you have the Holy Quran reciting some verses like Surah Zalzala, good. The structure of the word will show you iza, or iza, or zai, baad, all these letters, they have the combination of zalzala. Good? 
that will convey the message. For example, in Surah uh, 10, ثُمَّ رَدَدْنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ السَّافِلِينَ Going down. It's all miraculous, melodious in Quran. Using signs, short and long vowels for clarification. Normally, Fatha is for conditions of happiness. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ فتح. All the Fatha, we don't have here. Just إِذَا at the beginning. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحِ فتح. وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا For example, the, the other meaning like أَسْفَلِ السَّافِلِينَ The sound is like for the lowering. Good. Using words to show the external sounds, as I mentioned. As I mentioned. For example, uh, Surah so so Zalzala. إِذَا, زل ز إذا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا Using letters to show the external meaning and sensation. Letters ta and qaf. For example, in Surah Al-Tariq and Surah Al-Qiyamah. وَالسَّمَاءِ وَالطَّارِقِ Ta, ta, ta. It's like for darba. And Surah Al-Qiyamah. لا أقسم بيوم القيامة. Good. Matching words with with meaning softness and hardness, quality of words. قولا لينا. It's in the story of Prophet Musa عليه السلام and his brother. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says go towards for and but to speak with them with the Soft language. قولاً لينا لينا. So this لين, it is itself has the quality of, I mean, like lean. لينا. Good. So now we go to the stage of yes. Isn't it very beginning at the other side? You said that the locking doors and so on. Yes, yes, yes. Locking doors. You know the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. You might see the, the series as well. You might know all the parts of the, uh, that story. At that stage, when, when it was about the closing of, of the doors, mm -hmm. it's exactly the same sound of the doors. And also we have the same thing in uh, Surah Al-Fajr. كلا إذا دكت الأرض دكا دكا وجاء you see جاء it's coming it's exactly like coming فاستبق الباب وقدت قميص like this Mm? We have that specific opening and closing. So, different melodies used in the recitation of the Holy Quran. So we have these seven basic melodies. We always say with the Sunia bi Sahar. And all, all, of course, I have eight melodies. So I have Kurd as well. So nowadays, they have seven plus one. Sunia bi Sihrik. Saad for Saba. Noon for Nahawant, Ain for Ajam, Ba for Bayati, Sin for Sika, Ha for Hijaz, or oh, Hijaz, I, I changed even my Lahja is completely going to, towards Lebanese Hijaz. And Mustafa is, I don't know, he's flying in another garden. <laughs> and uh, Ra for Rust, and Kaf for Kurd. So, the reason of calling these names, it has a reason. First of all, we have to know that we have a diwan, octave, we say in English, octave diwan. 
They're starting from Do and finishing in Do. If you have keyboard, like the you're using for, I mean, singing or anything, it has as well Divan, three Divan. Eight, eight, eight. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Do, Si, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Oh, 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 oh. Everything we say has a uh, su'ud and nuzul, going up and coming down. That is the formation of each part, even a word or even a maqta, a part of recitation. So that is the alphabet of melody. So you have to know as a reciter, you know, for example, why we should know this? Because we know the pitch. What is pitch? The pitch is the level of uh, our speaking or our voice as we had in keyboard, from the lowest to the highest. In the lesson of voice, we have a terminology, a quality, a quality of irtifa' al sawt What is the meaning of irtifa' al sawt Irtifa' al sawt means the difference between the lowest pitch to the highest pitch. difference between, I mean, the highest and the lowest, it's called irtifa. Why we should know this? Because, specifically for ladies, because ladies, the majority of ladies, they are starting from the higher pitch. Always we recommend ladies, you have to lower down the starting point, even for, for men as well. One of the disadvantages for the many reciters they can't recite well or they can't recite for a long time is because they are starting from the higher pitch. It's itself jawab. Good? So, Saba, Nahawant, Ajam, Bayati, Sika, Hijaz, Rast. Okay, Maqam Saba. Why it's called Saba? The majority of these melodies they are originally Arabic melodies, but they traveled to Persia and then came back to Arabia, to Arabic countries. Saba, we, we have a Nasim. We have brothers from Iran and Persia here. We call it Nasime Saba. We, we, in our culture, in Afghanistan, we say Saba means, means early morning. This melody is recited Early morning, why? Salat al-Fajr and Salat, uh, salat al-Layl. You are alone with your Lord and you're just complaining about yourself. Oh Lord, I did this against myself. ظَلَمْتُ نَفْسِي وَتَجَرَّأْتُ بِجَهْلِي وَسَكَنْتُ إِلَىٰ Until the end. Ya Rabbi Rahab, da'fa badani Oh, in many majalis, in specifically our brothers from Iraq or from even Lebanon or from many Arabic countries, when they start the marasim of Imam Hussein, they start with na'i. Na'i is in maqam sabah. Ya khuya, ya khuya, ya khuya. من يغمض لك عيونك. So that is مقام سبا حزين. It is it is all sadness. It is the tragedy of Karbala. When Lady Zainab سلام الله عليها is talking to شهداء to Imam Hussein عليه السلام. That is all سبا. It's all sadness. And when we have the verses which is about عذاب about جهنم. About disbelievers, you see, topic, sadness, disbelievers, conditions in hell. 
calamity, punishment, tragic, lamenting and pain, we use Maqam Sabah. Where is the starting point of Maqam Sabah? From Daraja, Re. What are the Darajat, the pitches? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Si, Do. What are the Arabic names? Daraja, Rast, Duka, Sika, Chaharka, Husseini. Nawa, and after Nawa is Husseini, Nawa, Husseini, Ajam, Uauj, and Kardan. These are the names of Al Diwan Al Asli, Filogat Al Arabi. So say again Rast, Duka, Sika, Chaharka, Nawa, Husseini, Ajam, and another name of Ajam here is Auj, and the last one is. Kardan. So the starting point of Saba is maqa, is from Daraja Re. Usually in many of our recitation we are starting with Maqam Bayati. And Maqam Bayati is Ummul Maqamat, is the mother of all melodies. And that's the reason we can use this melody in each part of our recitation at the beginning. And of course we use, the majority of us we use at the beginning. Why? Because this melody has ability to start even from the lower pitch. It's like the role of our mothers. If you have your mothers still alive, you have to respect. Al-Jannatu tahta aqdamil ummahat. So we call maqam bayati like maqam and I will speak about Maqam Bayati. Maqam Bayati is a mixture of happiness and sadness. Maqam Bayati. So now, Maqam Saba is all these, um, I mean, topics, and a starting point is Daraja Re. Oh, Do, Re, Re, E. This, this is stage. Okay, this is specifically pitch. Nahawand. Let, let me. Uh, Say about Sabah, who recited in Sabah? I mentioned Prophet Adam alayhi salam. When, when Allah said, go out. And that is the reason we, we call it um, original sin. And because of that original sin, we are here. Our place was not here. We might be in paradise or somewhere else, maybe. But uh, that was original uh, sin. So, when they thrown out from paradise, about 40 years Prophet Adam alayhi salam was doing, I mean reciting, having connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with maqam. It is maqam tawbah. Sabah maqam tawbah. Prophet Adam alayhi salam was recited. Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam was recited as well. And where is the, the, the origin of this melody? Where, where is, which country is the origin of this melody? Yalla. Iraq. Iraq is the origin of this melody. You know, Iraq is the land of tragedy. Adam alayhi salam. Amir al muminin Imam Hussein alayhi salam. It's all tragedy, all tragedy. And who was reciting more in this, our A'imma, Imam Sajjad. And who is the Qari of A'imma? He is our Jad. Imam? Uh, yeah, of course, Imam Ali is our Jad, but uh, he is in, in the capital. Imam Musa Al-Kadhim, Ahsantum. Imam Musa Al-Kadhim was the, the Qari of A'imma. Imam Sajjad was the, I mean, he, he was reciting dua. But the reciter was Imam Kadhim alayhi salam. When he, wa, he used to recite, the bird was all wet of tears. Good. That, that is the, 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 I mean, the reflection of this verse. You know, لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله. مقام نهاوانت. Why, why it's called نهاوانت? Do we have anyone from the city Nahawant, from the province Iraq, I mean Iraq in Iran? Nahawant Markazi, yes. Good. A city in Iran is called Nahawant. But the origin of this is actually Nahawand. 
It has a region of India. Do we have anyone from India here? Very good. Many, I mean, even Qawwali or many other things you're doing, it's in Nahawand. It has sense of India. Ali Imam Manastu Manam Ghulam Ali 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 It is just sense of Indian I mean melodies Of course India is really strong in melody All the countries specifically Persia, Iran and Arabia All of them they are mashallah strong So Nahwad is uh, of course from India The origin is India But of course we have a city in Iran in the name of Nahawand Maybe it is traveled from India there and then came back to Arabia. Topics, history of prophets. Many verses of the Holy Quran, I mean, at, about prophets, Prophet Musa alayhi salam. You know the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salam with the daughters of Shu'aib alayhi salam. It's recited in this uh, melody. And also uh, the story of, again, Prophet Musa alayhi salam with his, his wife, is recited with this melody. Surah Taha, the majority of that part is recited with this melody. And many conversation we have, conversation in stories. Qala qalat. Mm -hmm. It's all recited in Maqam Nahawant. Calmness, resolution, seriousness, and discourse. A starting pitch, do. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm? So Ajam is, uh, I mean, uh, Nahawand was the origin of India. Now we go to Ajam. Who is Ajam? Non Arabs are Ajam. Good. Persia. Uh, if you have lived in Iran during Ramadan, before breaking fast, they used to put the Rabbana of Ustad Shajarian. Rabbana Afrig Alayna Sabara. Like this, it is Maqam Ajam. All Rabbana, all Dua, we do with Maqam Ajam. Dua, prayers, asking forgiveness, elevating towards Allah. Brightness, happiness, majesty, pride, and loftiness, strength, joy. A starting pitch is Daraja C. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. Rabbana, you, I think in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ustaz Shahad Muhammad Anwar is a sight in this melody. ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون لنا عيدا. تتس مقام عجم دعاء. All the odds we do specifically in this melody, maqam, ajam. And another thing, chaharga. You might ask about chaharga. Chaharga is the taswir of maqam, ajam. What is taswir? When you take out the starting point lower, like in bayati we do. The starting point of bayati is daraja re. But when we start in the recitation of the Holy Quran, we don't start from daraja re. Because daraja is this. We don't start like this. We just bring the starting point low, maybe in Ushairan or maybe in Iraq. It is low, okay? So, Chaharga is starting from Fa. Oh, 
means it's Ajam, and that one was Chaharga. Dayati. So you know the origin of Ajam is Persia. Bayati. Bayati, what is Bayati? Do you know in, in Turkmenistan, in Afghanistan, and even in Iran, we have a tribe, it's called Bayat. Qawm Bayat. And as well in, in Persian, we have in poetry, Bayt. So Bayt in Arabic means house. But in poetry, it is, I mean, two misra. Okay, when we say, for example, Tawanabuat Harkidonabuat, Zedanesh Delepir Bornabuat. This is one bait. Good? Bayati, the region of Bayati, it is as well from one sentence in Persia, which is called Bayadi. Bayadi. In the dhikr of, in the remembrance of Bayadi Khuda. So Bayat is a, a tribe, a qawm, in, in Afghanistan, in Iran, and all around Persia. And as well, it is Bayt. All Arabic song, the majority of them, it is recited, where it is a sing, uh, I mean singing in Maqam Bayati. For example, even uh, Anashid, all Anashid, the majority is in Maqam بياتي. طلع البدر علينا من ثنيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داء أيها المبعوث فينا Jitabil Amri Muta Jita Sharaf Tal Medina Marhaban Ya Khayrada Talan Nurul Mubino Nur Khayril Mursalina نور أمن وسلام نور أمن وسلام نور خير ويقين سقه الله تعالى رحمة للعالمين and many others inshallah if we have time tonight because we have to recite this maybe if the Taratil group is not reciting this, inshallah we recite. Bayati is a mixture of two sensation. Happiness and sadness. For example, when you are really happy, you cry. When someone comes from, for example, many years you didn't see him or her, you cry. That is a sensation of Bayati. That is when you, you are happy, but you cry. That is bayati. That is the hiss of bayati. That's shawq. When you go to ziyarat of Imam Raza, you are happy because you are in the ziyarah. When you go to ziyarat of Imam Hussain, you are happy, but you cry. That is bayati. Because you are in the zikr of that imam. So the starting pitch of this melody is daraja re bayati. Okay, the topics, let me say, desire, gentleness, light, joy, and vitality. The, the region I mentioned, Bayati, is Persia, is Afghanistan, Iran, and those countries. Can you give an example of surah where Bayati can be? Yes. Bismillah rahim Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr Laylatul qadr khayrum min alfi shahr 
تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر اللهم صل على الله العلي العظيم على محمد سلام عليكم سلام عليكم Go ahead with your question. So I'm just trying. I will to give. I will give you time. Maybe if we have time at the end, we will give you four questions. Oh, but okay. yeah. definitely. But keep your question, okay? Sika. If it's related to the this melody, yes, please go ahead. Go just ahead. Because we're talking about the different maqams, right? And I'm trying to understand what the maqam, what each maqam really represents, because I understand that each one has a different starting pitch. But then as you are reciting each of these different examples that you give us, the pitch is changing, it's going up and down and up and So what makes each maqam unique? Like, is it just the starting point or something His else? Sensation. Very good question. Sensation of each melody. And also, as, as you mentioned, going up and down. Of course, qarar, jawab, and jawab, jawab. The first stage, the second stage, and the last stage of each melody. So it makes that melody different and of course everything related to your what to your sensation to your hiss maqam sika sika it because it is we say sega it is actually sega or gamma sevum in persian we say the third step because maqam itself means step as well position so it's the third position sika it is the happiest melody we use this in uh, all mawalid for example i i Recite it, Tala al Badru in Maqam Bayati, but in Maqam Sika you see the difference. Tala al Badru alayna min thaniyati al Wada wajaba shukru alayna mada alayna da. So this is happiness. So maqam sika, topics, happiness, desire, paradise, believers, condition and paradise and love. For example, when you say, Inna lil muttaqina mafaza Hadaiqa wa a'naba وكواعب التراب وكأسا دهاقا That is the happiness. That is the believer's condition in paradise. And the starting point of Maqam Sika is me. Where is the region of this Maqam? The previous Maqam Bayati we mentioned the region and the Sika. Many people, they say the origin of this melody is Azerbaijan. Have you seen their a specific dancing they have? It's, it has rhythmic. It is very difficult to deal with their, I mean, feet like this. It's, it's really fast and it is all happiness. So the origin of Maqam Sika is Azerbaijan. Next Maqam, Hijaz. Yes, why not? I, I recited the Talal Badru, okay, in Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. The example you want, you can take the cities, but do not worry about the, I mean, prices. You have to take all of you from I, tonight. I, I left all the cities there. Uh, do not worry about, I mean, money, but you have to take it because we have all the melodies in um, eight melodies. Like, for example, in Tartil, we have. The 30th juice in eight melodies. Good. For example, for Maqam Sika in Surah Al, for example, Kawthar. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
محمد حجاز يا أهل الحجاز what is حجاز you know حجاز nowadays they call it سعودية عربية we don't call it سعودية عربية I call it حجاز because we are originally from حجاز say it all goes specifically from حجاز we are حجازي you know the majority of أذان when you listen to أذان it is in حجاز calling الله أكبر الله أكبر أذان نداء منادي حجاز you know have you seen the, the film of الرسالة the message Specifically at, at that time, the conquest of Mecca, when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his progeny, and many people, they come from Medina to Mecca. And you have you seen the movement of camel like this? This, this is the melody. You know, the caravan, the caravans in Arabia, when they have the business between, I mean, Mecca and Medina, they used to use this melody, the melody of Hijaz. It is actually the movement of camel as well. Good? So whenever you see camel, you remember Hijaz. Good? When you listen to Adhan, remember Hijaz. But of course, we have Adhan in different melodies, even in Kurd, in Bayati, many other things. Call to prayers, dua, qualities of Allah. Desert, you know desert, not desert, I mean. <laughs> Solemn and invocation. The starting pitch is Re. From Re we have Bayati, Saba, and Hijaz. Rast. We say in Persian, in our language, Dari and Persian, we say Rast. Straightforward. Rost. Rost, Buru. Go straight. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? This melody is just straightforward. When you talk to your kids, you have to do this. You have to listen to your teacher. It is Rost. When you just order something. In Quran, when we have verses of Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, ati'u Allah wa ati'u rasul. We use maqam, rast. It is order, it is a rule, it is a straightforward. Rast comes from rast. Rast in Persian means straight. Rast, straight. Topics, orders, names of, names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Masculine, the melody of masculine. And what was the melody of feminine? Oh, please give me money, I want to buy something. What was this melody? The melody of Nisa, the melody of women is Maqam Saba. Yes, it is like that when you have. I don't say that because, I mean, Nisa or women, they are really, we call it the Zarif. Okay? Yes. So their maqam, their melody is saba. We want to buy, for example, gold, maybe one kilo or two kilo. So you use the jawab, jawab of maqam saba. Okay? But if you want to buy some, just like a cloth, of course you have 20 or 30 or maybe 50 clothes, but just for a new occasion, the birthday of your 
very far from friends. I don't know, daughter, you have to buy, for example, $1,000 cloth. So, okay, rust. Rust, Surat al Daha, or any other things like a straightforward. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة والرحمن الرحيم. Straightforward. Names and qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يا أيها الذين آمنوا. And any other things. For example, in Surah Al Baqarah we have, okay, استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين. The starting pitch is do. Okay, I didn't mention maqam kurd. The starting point of maqam kurd, because there are two schools. One school says maqam kurd is just separate from bayati. And the first school says kurd is just a, I mean, branch of maqam bayati. It is exactly, I mean, close to each other. But nowadays, they know Maqam Kurd as a separate Maqam. In many anashid or even in recitation, we use Oh, you know what is Kurd? You have a tribe, you have people in four countries we have. In Iran, in Iraq, in Syria, and in Turkey, we have Kurd. And they have very good voices. And they have, I mean, good reciters as well. Good tradition, good culture. And very strong people as well. Good? So, Kurd, the origin of Kurd is there. And Rast, which prophet, as I mentioned, prophet uh, Adam alayhi salam, when he was mentioning the Asami to Malaik, he was using this melody, Rast. And whenever we use the recitation of the Old Quran, when we have Asami, we use Maqam Rast. So, and Kurd as well we use for uh, the topics we use for Bayati, it is as well Shawq. It's as well Shawq. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن في ذلك العبرة إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى